we're gonna have guards on every lane. It's making it rain. Ah, wait. Ah, okay. Wait, this doesn't explode now. Oh no, because it's a 2-1. Wait, it hit face? Come on, man. Okay, so here's two guards. Oh, we lose? We're actually gonna lose here. Yes! Yeah, no! 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 This is gonna come on! Don't hit face twice! If it hits face twice, we lose! No, yes, there's another guard! Ah! And we are freaking ready to go. What's going on, everybody? This is Fry. So today, I am super, super stoked to do this deck. It is the Splash Gargs deck. Uh, so the idea of this is combining the Crazy and Beastie classes uh, with Electric Boogaloo in order to put uh, this card on the board, the Garg Throwing Garg, that seems to be very effective. It's a nice big card that, you know, if it takes any damage uh, from your opponent, it'll throw a random Garg in a random lane. It could be a Zombot, it could be, you know, nurses and all kinds of good things. So uh, we are combining that with the Splash uh, cards. So the cards that will basically do a lot of little damage to everything, including your own guys. Barrel of Dead Spirits does that, the uh, Firework Zombie does that, and um, another Garg. Uh, which is the Gas Giant also does that. So there's actually two separate synergies going on here. First of all, this is a control deck. You gotta realize that that is the deck. We're trying to stall for time early early in the game and remove everything uh, that your opponent plays on the board. That's why you're seeing a lot of removal cards and the splash itself uh, is our removal cards. This, you know, if you play Barrel of Deadbirds, Fire, Barrel of Deadbirds, and then Fireworks the next turn, it'll do two damage to everything. It's very effective against a lot of the plant decks that run low health minions, like ramp decks and like aggro decks, uh, and like mushroom decks like Nightcap. Uh, the second synergy, the way it works, is how good these cards will be. Once you have a Garg throwing Garg on the field, uh, we all are also running Garg throwing Imp on the field, uh, these little splash cards will actually make um, these guys actually start throwing Gargs around the field. This is a little bit hard to pull off. I haven't really had a lot of success in the past, but I think there are a few things in this deck that might make the uh, Garg throwing in better. One of them is Hunting Grounds. Hunting Grounds is a new card this season uh, that I think will actually make all basically everything in this deck a lot better. Uh, you can actually stick a Barrel of Deadbeards in this, and the Barrel of Deadbeards will kind of like home in on whatever your opponent plays, which is amazing. Uh, you can also put the Garg throwing imp into this, uh, which will uh, really make you guarantee that you actually will at least get like one Garg out of this and who knows maybe we'll be able to get um, two also this will actually give it a little extra health which will be amazing um, so here it is hope you enjoy I'll show you guys exactly how to play this deck and let's just get right into the game uh, this is Control Boogaloo. Again, the classic Control Boogaloo you're running a lot of removal some of the versions of the deck did have Barrel of Deadbeard's Fireworks uh, I believe Barrel Fireworks is actually better nowadays than it was last season because there's a lot of really low health, uh, you know, plans. Uh, but this, the win conditions are quicker, which is better. The Control Boogle usually relied on Garg Feast and Octo Zombie, which costs 8 and 11. Uh, you can actually start playing offense on 5, 6, and 7, which I believe makes this uh, a lot better. We'll get rid of some of the late. I guess you're supposed to keep one late game card because if you don't end up with any late game, you're kind of screwed. There, are, there is one Guardian card we would keep Fruitcake for, and that would be Pecanolith. I think we have a decent starting hand that we don't have any late game yet. Anyway, Boogaloo is a very good control hero because he has th three out of four of his powers. The dancers are, are useless in this deck. Uh, so that's going to be a, that's a big problem, actually, the fact that backup dancers really, really suck. It's a whole superpower of ours that has no use in this deck at all. Sometimes it can stall for time a little bit. Um, but the other three powers are amazing. Two of them are lightning bolts. This one heals you, which is amazing in a control deck. And the last one is evaporate. It's so good since we have so many ways of doing one damage to guys. Uh, what is my prediction for this deck? This is a control deck. I, I think this kid, this actually has a lot of potential. We'll see. I, I've never played with this deck before. Um, <coughs> if our opponent would have made a play on turn one, I probably would go with barrel. I'm gonna I'm gonna control whatever opponent plays. If I, if he plays a card like um, Triceratops, I really want to be able to answer it. These are useful in the late game too. So <laughs> we're just getting all of our guard throwing ups. I'm gonna still maintain wrath. Again, I don't want to get messed up by wild berry and stuff like that. This is gonna be a berry deck, I believe. 
I will fruitcake this because this is basically this is basically a um, this is basically a, a four a four cost card because we have no way, other way of removing it. Enjoy your card. It's kind of sad running fruitcake, which is why I'm only running three instead of four because we just got a card disadvantage. It gave our we spent the card and gave our opponent a card back for free. Sadness. Ugh. This is tough. This deck is actually might be really good against berries because they end up doing lots of splashy splashy. Got cornucopia. It's not the worst case scenario. I think we'll stick this on the field and then kind of go from there. I'm just gonna control this turn. There's too many Garg Throwing Imps and Gas Giants. We need 12 late game cards, definitely. I mean, it's not too much. What the heck is this? I'm gonna use two cards to remove this. I could use one card. I don't want him getting double starting Strongberry. So we're, we're, we're digging ourselves into a card disadvantage hole. I'm gonna just stick this dry in the field, it's sad. I wish I would have gotten Hunting Grounds. That would've been nice. There it is. I might go with Hunting Grounds now. These two. He's been reluctant to play in Heights for some reason, so these two actually should remove something, and then this will actually be good in the Hunting Grounds. We passed the gas turn. Is Water Balloons a piece of trash garbage? What is... Oh, Water Balloons? Yeah, it's, it's useless. Oh, I could have fireworked. Ah, uh, you're right. I kind of want to save the fireworks for this, though. We don't really have a good activator. I think this is still right. This is probably five. And then we'll play this into the hunting grounds, I suppose. <laughs> is this a card I want to remove? Man, that's tough. Let's see here. This will be seven. I think this is fine. Take out a Garg Throwing Imp and add in a... Let's see how the deck does. Again, this is a deck I'll definitely make revisions to. Garg Throwing Imp is a pure experiment. I've never had it been good before. The only reason why I even tried it is because of this combo with the Hunting Grounds. The hunting grounds activate is 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 in a way the best activator. Cause now what does he do? What do he he plays any minion? Why is he dragging it out, dude? This has four health now. <laughs> he actually throws a guard. That's his ability. So that's what happens when he moves. That's so funny. That's his hunt animation. Is throwing a guard into the air. I love that. <laughs> it's such a like a. It's it's every card when they when they ever like do something they're not supposed anyway. What is this? You're giving me two now. You hit that? Are you crazy? Are you insane? We have two gargs now. That was such a horrible play. Why would he drag that out? He could have just put this here. Oh my goodness. Holy moly with that. <coughs> Look at this. This is actually frenzy now. Oh man. Not a good play. We actually don't have a play here. We actually do not have a play. There's no way to activate. See, right now, we can't even... Like, ah! There's no point in fireworks. There's no point in barrel. We'll do this later. We're just going to use some tricks to remove this, guys. And uh, this lane will be a good candidate. Doomshroom. Yay. <coughs> Hopefully it doesn't have spike weed sector, because I, I do like this a lot. Ah! 
Oh, look what I found, Mommy. I would like to activate this. We don't need to, though. We don't need to. I think this is the play. Five and three. Do we want the guards to go to the right or to the left? Your mom's to the right. Doesn't really matter. We could have done barrel and... This was eight, nine. See, there is a play. <laughs> There's God Nova. Amazing! <coughs> I don't know. You want... Okay. We can actually um, kill this with an extinction event. Two and three. It's not bad damage. It's down to nine. We're going to have to do this later. It's, the problem is there's no lanes. There's no lanes. We want this to be able to throw something this turn. Baby Fry gives you luck. No, see, this actually travels now. <laughs> I don't think he realizes how hunting grounds works. Okay. Okay. Look, Mommy. So this is the only thing that takes this out. Play your card. Multiple cards? I, I think the, the extinction event. We have 10 next turn. This was 9, right? This blocks. Hit. Interesting. Whew. Question is, what's the play? The barrel really doesn't combine with this yet. This is actually friendly now. This should work. He's probably going to make a play in lane one, in which case this will be amazing. It'll be six. He'll make a play in one of these lanes. He's got to. In lane one, oh, man. This guy's screwed. <coughs> Walnut Bowling wins. You're right. Walnut Bowling wins. Should I play this around Walnut Bowling? I don't know. Yes. Got him. I don't think Walnut Bowling is such a common card in berry decks. You can almost assume every spit out is going to be a berry deck. <laughs> that was good. The, the Garg throwing imps were actually quite good because of Hunting Grounds. Hunting Grounds is what made it good. So um, that is a combo. That is, that's, it works. It works. Yeah, unfortunately, Phone Cat's channel has has thinned out a little bit. It's Sunday, too, so there's going to be a lot of people here. How many people are watching right now? 150 on YouTube. And 350 here on <laughs> Twitch. That's a lot. Okay, one of these should be useful. No, one, I said. I like this. I think this is too late. We need some earlier. Do we keep this? This is such a good card. We don't have any one or turn one control play. Probably get one. All right, this is is headhunter. <coughs> I don't know about headhunter. <coughs> Doesn't seem mecha. I'll try it. I gotta use headhunter in the deck though. Okay, all right, headhunter down. I need a budget deck for tomorrow. I should look through my deck ideas right now and see if it took five damage, which is kind of sad, but whatever. We're not getting out tempo. Oh, this is nice getting this back, actually. This is such such a key card in this deck. 
holy moly with that. I didn't even come into today uh, thinking of this. I was just looking at environments, I'm like, woo! Am I playing Friends? Now, I'm playing again at the end of the stream, so that'll be in about, um, in about an hour, actually. I started late today. So, TARDIS boy. This is fine, even though we're not going to use it immediately. Hmm. Where are the best packs get right now? I would say premium packs, because they have a lot of basic things. That's where you get heroes. Unfortunately, that got covered. Should you craft hunting grounds? It seems like a decent card. I, again, I'm not going to say it's like, ah. Oh, it's a top tier thing, you know? We got a late game card, which is good. We really just want late game cards at this point. I say cry. That weak stuff out of here. Is Boogaloo still a bad hero? I mean, this will be the determination. I, his aggro crazy decks are good. We did use it with Z-Mech. Boogaloo will be just as good. So the question is, is Control Boogaloo better this season? And that's exactly what we're trying to find out here. Um, Grookyard? I can't... Your link isn't working, unfortunately. Grookyard, check that out. <laughs> the man has failed once again! Get that weak stuff out of here, and we have a card advantage now. How did that happen? Because he used one card. Um, he well, he guy has an environment, so we only have a really one card advantage. I think this is fine. We need to start getting some offense. We don't have any real ways of controlling him in lieu of fruit cake. He has few cards. If he's trying to pull off for Pete Moss, okay. <laughs> He spent two cards and it doesn't even kill. Wow. Then you know what? This actually still trades. It still trades. So he just used three cards for my one. He has in he is in a top deck situation right now. That's the real meaning of top deck. People get upset at me. And we did six damage to his face also. So it was a three for one. Absolutely fantastic. Bring it on. He needs cards. So we're gonna stick that right in that berry lane. <laughs> this is six damage. This is great. This is where works as a finisher. That was desperation time. We have as much removal. We actually don't want to play these because the card advantage is our biggest uh, asset right now. Let's see what it gets. We'll blast that. It's worth it. Again, this is a two for one. A two. It's a. It's a two for two. He's gaining a card, but we're actually gonna get a garg out of this. So. Baby, it's worth it. Don't get a banana. I could do this. I wonder if it's worth it. Do we need another Garg? For six damage better. Eh, I think for funsies. We'll do one Garg first. <laughs> I could have actually killed both of them with one of these cards. It's alright. Let's go Zombot! Okay, this is good. I really love the fact that that Deep Sea Garg is a 7-7. Seven, seven. Not because I would ever run this card still. I would never run this card. Probably. Um, the reason is... Well, this should be fine. Kill everyone! Actually, this will be good at procking the block. Mm. Mm. Okay. <coughs> uh, the reason is that um, it's it just the cards that spawn this. Like, no! Oh, that hurts. Uh, we still probably win. Did he get this? Is this a fruit? I say cry. I don't want to give him another card. This should still be lethal. Uh, yeah, because blow doesn't do anything. Freeze doesn't also. Yeah, we actually win. <laughs> Go, little one ones! We need a flamenco now, somehow. Nah, it's game. Okay. There's nothing either. Uh, <coughs> I say blow. This guy blows. Go, little imp, for the win! I love when he great zucchinis this deck and we still just beat him. It was just enough damage. The right play before, I, I believe, would have been to to use Extinction Event and get the 6 damage in because, you know, it, there's ways of him coming back, but anyway, didn't work. Go little 1-1 one, one guys. 
<coughs> yeah, Great Zucchini's not that good when you only have two health. And they have a full board. Too expensive. Ew. I need some variety here. This is alright. Do I need a late game card? This is a good answer to Strong Varian, which isn't even a good card against us. We'll probably get a Lightning Bolt. Mm. Alright. Is it worth crafting Cobb Cannon? I would say yes. Again, well, what, there are better cards. I would say Pinecone and Briar, Briar Rose better than Cobb Cannon for sure. But once you have all those cards and you have your Phallix and everything on that side, I would say absolutely yes. This is actually nice. He's running a Splash deck. This is probably going to be very similar to our... Uh, Splash Spadow deck that we, that, you know, that my last YouTube video, the one I put up today. So, um, we can actually take advantage of his little splash cards to get extra guards and stuff, so that'll be nice. This is a, actually an amazing matchup, because he relies on his removal by doing bits of damage. It's controlled if it's controlled, like, and our late game is stronger than his, especially because of all the stupid splashiness. It's just a fairy deck. With, and he's running Shelf Berry. <laughs> Let's see. Pass. I could really use an answer to, what's it called? To Strong Berry right now. <coughs> I can actually do these two. You're just watching the YouTube video with Baby Fry? Yeah, I, I forgot to write Special Appearance of Baby Fry. I should write that in the title. People like that stuff. I'll do that right now. Dang. My YouTube stats going up today. This should be fine. This should be fine. I'm gonna keep him under control. We do have an activator for this on six. We don't really. There's no one card. There's no like play that's just so amazing right now. We have a pretty empty field. I'll see it like this. Oh, I think here's better. <coughs> <coughs> do you love hamstered? What is it? Hamster tank. This deck is a troll? It's a control deck. Um, I'm, I'm pleased with the way it's performing so far. The, the late game combos are freaking insane. That's cool. He's also going to take advantage of our splash. That's the problem. Good play. Good old play. Special appearance. I updated the title of that. It's a special appearance of Baby Fry. Now what? Now it pass. This is good, because this will become an 8-6 for one guard. Two, actually. <laughs> I, I might be insane and use fireworks here. Yeah, we're, we're doing it. No, this is crazy. Here's my number. Uh, I have, I have two boys. There go. This is so insane. He can do an insane amount of damage to us here. Let's see what happens. <coughs> uh, this is tough. <laughs> This is so tough. It's this freaking deck against Hibernating Berry. Both of these decks counter each other so well. If he plays an environment, I get him. Please play an environment. Play Dickweed. Please. Just play Spikeweed. <laughs> He's running Spineapple? Why? 
Yes, go in the water. Thank you. So now this there's another guard. <laughs> it's gonna hit this. It's gonna hit this. Go, Swabby. Use a, a meteor on that? Not a great play. I believe we want our guard to hit face here. Like this? He might be trying to OTK us with this. Just so. <coughs> I just like the 5 5 being a little unadulterated there. Hopefully. Maybe that wasn't smart. Maybe you're from this one was better. Anyway, we got that. Wait! No, it doesn't move. This is another example. There's, you're going to see a bunch of those. But basically, if there's a minion here that dies, the active ability of this cannot make it go to, go towards a dying minion. That's one of the rules of the game. <coughs> Please, really. These two kill this one. There's no real good offensive play. This is not good here. We could go with this, but if it gets removed, we lose. So we're gonna we're gonna try to remove this freaking berry. We have to get rid of this thing. This thing is the thing that can that can just ruin us. Is control cornucopia still good? I, the cornucopia is a little slow. I, I prefer to. It's it's all right. I usually run like a couple cornucopias maybe. And thank you so much, Rudog, for subscribing. Oh, yeah. Long time Eight subscriber. Months still going. Eight months is right. Way, do you have a good book box deck? A good. What did he say? Boog Valk deck. The problem with uh, a Boogaloo Valk is there's no good way to activate the Valk. You can play this huge Valk on the field, which is good. I mean, it's a decent card, but how do you get it to to hit face? That's the problem. I could have run Valks in this deck too. You need more minions. You could run aggro and then fruitcake, fruitcake to make it face. You play on the board and fruitcake. It's just not as good as when you can teleport it in or do it with mustache because then you kind of automatically get value. <coughs> Let's go with this. Who is better, Imp or Garg throwing guard? What? <laughs> Garg throwing him, Garg throwing guard, Garg throwing guard is the better card. And we'll see if we can get something here against this grape, so it'd be nice. <coughs> We're gonna set up some super splashes here and actually fill up our entire board with Garg Gargantuars, and the supernova guard doesn't hurt. Where does this go now? These two? Six, two, and one. I kinda like it like this. <coughs> this way we'll at least get a deep sea guard, which would probably finish off our opponent. Cherry bomb. Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> that was confusing. Escalated quickly. Uh, okay. Yeah. That is guaranteed lethal. Got him. The seven damage. The seven seven. I'll take it. Plumber to face for the win. He had the empty block and he only one charge. The double threes. Save him. 
I love how Captain Deadbeard's hat kind of floated down slowly. If you didn't see that on the YouTube video, rewind. That was such a dramatic finish. I'll take it. I don't. I I have no uh, mental ability to calculate what would have actually came out in the end there. It's too much. It's freaking. This is some Gwent level SH1T right now. <laughs> Add Zombot to this deck, guys. Here and he's waiting for that Zombot. We're gonna get one today. <coughs> we'll get one out of the guard throwing guard. Don't worry. <coughs> I think we keep this. It's it'll be good in an emergency unless he grows something. You know, in case he grows something insane, he often will use several cards to make one big one. I'm tempted to do this because it's utterly useless. This thing is a piece of garbage. I I'm going to try it and we'll save the plumber. Yes! Yes! <laughs> we have found a use for backup dancers in this stupid deck. It's good in aggro boogaloo because you can make them bullseye. But in this deck, it's just it's garbage. <coughs> At what point does dwarf decks not work in Gwent? When you get to a round rank uh, 11 and 12. Uh, it turns out it usually ends up being pretty bad then. I kill you! So, again, well, you'll see. Just playing ranked until you start losing. It depends if you're at the beginning of the season, the end of the season. End of the season, you can. it's a little bit more prolific. I think we'll just fruitcake something here. I mean, we could do this. Not worth it. Why no smashing Garg? Uh, I, I, I'm going with, with the Imp Throwing Garg instead. This is nice black IP. The black IP is very good in this deck, so it's worth handing him a card to remove this, you know, immediate threat <coughs> and the eventual four damage. Uh, it's still turn four. I mean, you get a small card. Ugh. I think I'm just gonna double hunting grounds or something. I could have put something here. I don't know what what's the turn four threat. So I'm gonna kill everyone. We have a third one. Sadness. He's gonna play so much. We're, we're gonna be playing from behind in a big way. Ooh, Wrath is nice. Gotta Wrath this before he plays too many piece. Uh, we can see three Peter here, which would be annoying. That's fine. Oh, wow! That ended up being perfect. Absolutely fantastic. We drew out his, his planet. His Pair, pair of Paradise is what he got from our free cake, by the way, so that was uh, mitigated. What's going on, Strover? How are you doing, man? Well, uh, Phone Cats is... Uh, he needs to play, play, play... He, he, he went away from his shtick. His shtick was, I do mobile games. He went away from that, and I don't... I can't really say what the thing was, but... It's... It's sad. My heart is out to pee cats. Uh, this actually doesn't die from a super blast. It probably should have gone on the right still, but... Hmm, whatever. <laughs> I kill you, it's a 7-7 seven, seven, now. Splashy 7-7. Seven, seven. <coughs> we can actually fireworks and good stuff will happen. It's not a big deal. Flaming P. Flaming P is not a bad card, it's just been... There's been all these new cards added into the meta that make it no one ever played anymore, you're right. Fireworks is kind of sad here. Five and two, I guess. This is the plan. I don't want this getting blasted. He didn't use super yet, did he? Did he use super? Is that how he got five damage on us? No, can't be. He hasn't used Super yet, so we'll put this here. I'll be all the fireworks next year. This is nice, because this will splash, and... This will kill this one. We can always do this to make his Captain Cucumber not, not draw. Th this will be useful. This will just be a little tactical card. In fact, if he fronts this here, we might just use it here. Let's see what happens. We'll get a Garg in one of these lanes. Let's go down, Strover. Nice to see you again. What if Zombot had Hunt would be OP? Um, no, it's the opposite. If it had Fire Rooster's ability, it would be, it would be OP. 
The whole problem with Zombot, you played on turn 9. Now they have 9 sun. They can put a 1-1 one, one in front of the Zombot and just swarm the board with craziness. That's a dangerous play. If, he, if we end up having one attack here. Oh, it didn't have it. This still explodes. Alright, what's the play? This explodes, this dies. I guess we kill this one so he doesn't get the double shot. This dies in the explosion, yeah. Let's hope the guard goes here. We're in fantastic shape, by the way. We are in fantastic shape. Oh, it gets both of them! Sorry, my bad! Oh, I was like, which one? Oh, it gets both of them, does. And now he doesn't get anything from the Captain Cute numbers. <laughs> I just spaced out. Okay, that happens. We still have the body on the field. This is actually going to go into the hunt lane now, which is amazing. Um, this explodes to six damage to his face, besides for just neutralizing everything. So that just gets rid of this. Very nice. Two damage. <coughs> Fireworks is fine, just fine here. Uh, we want the guard to be first, because he has a half empty block meter. So this will be the next guard. Not bad. A little amphibious swabby. <sighs> See you later, Robin's awesome. I'll do a budget deck tomorrow, okay? Why did the imp not move? Doesn't it have hunt? Ooh, that's pretty good. Wow, it's amazing. Still doing five. How amazing is this, though? It does kill that. That's a good dragon. We still have two and one, so we'll be able to proc his block at least here. <coughs> <coughs> He's so weak right now. Let's see what we get. Garg through and Garg would be great. Okay, the thing is, look, if we play the imp through and Garg and then we play this, it's only gonna make one, because there's only gonna be one lane empty. Um so we have to play this and then this one. Let's see what happens. Let's just go here. Yeah. It'll kill Suave. Alright, let's see what happens. If this goes here, I think we're good. Yeah, that's fine. There you go. Because now this Garg automatically goes to lane 5. The bunny, he has to neutralize the bunny, and I don't think he has a chance of surviving here. All the Gargs do at least 5 damage. I'm so happy this is a 5 cost Garg, not a 5 cost card, so you don't get freaking, freaking blowgun in. <laughs> That's an appropriate name. This is, this is good. Now we have the Gargs in all three lanes. This lane doesn't kill him, but the dragon automatically takes us out. We're taking advantage of his splash damage, which is awesome. Oh no, now it's an egg! Oh, I forgot. <coughs> no! That was a good play! Oh no, this bunny's no good, because the egg's gonna go here. We're gonna be... Oh no, wait. No, we don't get any Gargs now. Oh, that's sad. This actually will kill the egg, too. No! No! Bad play! Now we get a guard back! Now we get a guard back in late. No, that was so bad! That was such a bad play! He didn't realize the hunt! Now, before we weren't getting a guard, he's going face. Big freaking whoop. Give me a lightning bolt. Okay. Oh, that was a bad place. Now the egg's gonna go here. <coughs> the egg will have hunt momentarily before it gets blasted by his dragon. This will actually kill the all three of these. There's no egg made here, and then this will actually now kill this one and make a garg in a lane. Uh, and and still be a body on the board, so it'll be an extra thing. And getting my bunny. Not very good because we don't want one in this lane, but anyway. Let's go plumber. Um Yes? I think so. He needs to block the three damage, so yeah, this is gonna make two gargs no matter what now. No, wait, no, this will make an egg. No, this will make a garg here. Oh, I'm confused. <laughs> so confusing. Wait, he's gonna... No, he procs our block, we just lightning bolt something now. Oh, see you later. Wait! <laughs> no, the bunny moved now. Oh no, so we're not gonna get it. 
What? Wait. This explodes. Oh, I'm confused. This kills the... Uh, wait, so this will explode. The Garg will actually go here now. There's savage spinach. <coughs> no, wait. The bunny's gonna... Oh, no, no. There's not gonna be, because there's just gonna be an egg. So we'll get a Garg in lane one at the end of all this. Um, that happens. That dies. This explodes. It kills everything. This doesn't make a Garg immediately. Why did it make it here? No! That's against all the laws. Oh, no, wait. Because the splash... Oh, I know why. Because the splash damage happened first, and this will actually be lethal now. <laughs> Yay, evaporate! Uh, I'll tell you why. That was a weird... Usually, the, the little guy cannot go where something dies, but it actually happened in two orders. First, the dragon did the splash damage, and that's what killed the bunny in lane one. And then the barrel of barrel exploded, damaged our, gar our garg throwing imp, it actually happened in that order, so the bunny was, in sequence, already dead before the splash damage even initiated. Uh, so the Garg actually did go in lane one. Anyway, it's called PVZ Science. You know why that happened? It's because science, you guys. That's the only reason. Just explaining. Usually, when something dies, you can't have a card then fill in the lane where a guy died. It makes so many differences in the game right now with all the hunts and all the th launches and all the everything like that. <coughs> this is nice. This is nice. We, we have a really good anti-nightcap deck. This is fine. I wonder if we should even ditch this for... This might be a berry deck, in which case this will be fine. We'll probably get a lightning bolt in our starting hand. I don't think we need two of these. Alright, I got a light game card. I don't like getting one. And we got Evaporate, which might not be good. Should I run Knockouts or Weed Sprays for Control Neptuna? Um, I tried Control Neptuna recently, and it seems like it's a little too slow. I think uh, Intergalactic Warlord might be the way. This really mitigates a lot of stuff that he does this turn. He could play Planet of the Grapes, though. Maybe we'll do it like this. We always have fireworks next turn. Let's save our cards. I don't know if I play this. I think I want to cover the planet. Well, if we play this here... Um, <laughs> let's see here. I want to use this to cover his planet of the grapes, so we'll see. How do I have 701 gems? Uh, <laughs> I need to write the, uh, a fact. Um, the... Oof. Okay, we can cover the planet with this. So if he does planet Astro Shroom, we got him. I think if he had planet, he would have played it already. I don't know what this guy's doing. Uh, the way I got the one gem is there used to be seven gem quests before the game was released. We have to play this at least next turn. Let's just play next turn. I'll use all the splash to activate my guys later. Okay, we actually have Wrath, which is good, because it means we can theoretically take something out. We actually, actually take anything out if we really need to. There's Mushroom Grotto. That's my boy! That, that my boy! This is amazing. So Garg throwing Imp goes into this now. <coughs> and then we'll, we'll just splash it on turn 6 and play this on turn 7. Amazing! And it, it's a mushroom deck, which is good. Maybe we should have let him get some mushrooms. For Ooh! Shrinking Violet's an answer to that. Not bad. Not bad at all. We have a second hunting ground, so I can put the barrel barrels in here. This is a nice play. This thing is a follow now. art on the hunting grounds it's nice i i think hunting grounds in this deck is so clutch you know this wow nothing so what we want to do is play the second hunting grounds he didn't have an environment so this is very safe and uh, we're just going to play guard throwing guard <coughs> right in here and it's going to be barrel it's just going to be fireworks next turn if he the, 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 the barrel actually does hunt first, so if he plays, let's say, a, a guy in lane 4-1, or one, 
the barrel will follow it because uh, things trigger from left to right in this game. You've been in the USA for two weeks. Oh, really? Oh, cool, Elzar. Welcome back. No! <laughs> he didn't realize. Boom. Oh, yeah, this one I did now. <laughs> Dude, that was the worst play possible. What are you doing? Great, he's doing, gonna do a little damage. These are gonna die. And this is gonna throw two gargs this turn. No, it's gonna throw one, but it's a nine. Wait. Wait. It's. This is an 11 11. What is he doing? It keeps on going out of one hunting grounds and into the other. This is insane! Why punish room where our whole board is gonna be gargs now? What is going on? This is gonna explode! I can't believe this play! I can't even believe it! This is we're gonna have gargs on every lane. He's making it rain. Ah, wait. Uh, okay. Wait, this doesn't explode now. Oh no, because it's a 2-1. Wait. It hit face! Come on, man. Okay, so here's two gargs. Oh, we lose? We're actually gonna lose here. Yes! Yeah, no! No, no! This is gonna come on! Don't hit face twice! If hit face twice, we lose! No, yes, there's another garg! Ah! Go! Wanna be a hero? Don't hit face! We got five! It's a one in six chance! Don't hit face! Don't hit face! Don't hit yes! We rolled a three! You ain't rolled a three! Oh! Oh my gosh! Oh! Oh, what's going on? We rolled a three! He hit face twice! We rolled double threes! He needs one damage! He's a berry blast away! Oh, that was actually a really good play! I thought that was crazy! Yes! 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 Oh! 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 That was actually such a good play. I was yelling at him and making fun of him, but that was actually the best play. That was crazy. That was the highlight of 2018. It's only February, but still, holy moly with that game. I can't believe, he could have had a berry blast. He could have had one more Astro Shroom, he would have won. Oh, thank you so much Kramer for the, the five dollar donation oh 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 man oh oh brother holy craziness i'm gonna hold on to this this is a fine hand I, that was so lucky too that was insanely insane that was so butt clenching <laughs> you guys are hilarious it's hilarious Go. Okay, so it's a berry deck. He is playing high voltage current on one. Uh, do I spam dancers because they're useless garbage otherwise? Hit it! Yes. <laughs> I can't believe that. I can't believe that was insane. The Zombot almost screwed us. We were better without the Zombot there because he got so many shots. The Punish Room got six shots off of that. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <coughs> <sighs> 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 I don't know. I don't. I don't know what just happened. We're using barrel barrels here just for control, I guess. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! <laughs> Play of the week. Play of the week. Okay. Um, I'm writing that down. That that was game five. Game five. He just killed that? What are you doing, man? What are you even doing? Not a good play. <sighs> okay, I have to catch my breath. It was... It was freaking... Garg... Throwing... Garg... Daryl... Versus... Mushrooms. Almost lethal. Absolutely crazy. Just writing down this highlight so I'll know where to find it later. Oh man. Okay, so this is fine. We still have a 5 1 on the field. I need to calm my nerves. 
Take a deep breath, Ryan. Right? He passed? I think five damage here is good. Goodbye. He's gonna play a big card here, which makes this just fantastic. Perfect. I think so. This isn't a lot of damage. We could just plumber it. Thank you so much, Outdated Cafe. You wanna what? You can make again if you made a Discord that's amazing, moderate it. Again, can't make it make it don't make a Discord for me. You're making a Discord for PvZ heroes. I, I can't endorse anything. Um, unless I'm actively in charge of it. That's just the way it works. This is fine. It's a nice late game card. It's a six six now. Um I'd like to see the berry deck you made at the end of the stream. What berry deck? Spit out one? I had a different berry? What are you doing? He doesn't know how this works. This kills us for free now. It's a two for one. Such a horrible play. <coughs> Why would you buff this extra now? People don't realize how underground works. Uh, so you can you can you put you can put one link in the chat, but you can put mo try to keep it mostly to YouTube videos. This is fine. <sighs> okay. Whoop de doo. If it goes in the it picks the lane first and then it picks the garg. That's why there's so many, you know, deep sea guards. If it picked the garg then the lane, they're almost never thrown in the water. What kind of play was that? <sighs> Dude, really? More gargs! Whoop de freaking do. Seven damage. Okay. Good luck with the Discord, you guys, because people have been asking it for a long time. Again, please don't advertise in the stream ever again. Uh, but you can advertise. It's on this video. This will turn into a video for sure. Don't worry, guys. No, it goes from left to right, so we don't get a guard. Wait. Oh no! Oh no, wait! Huh? Wait! Hold on! Wait! I don't know what just happened. What I do know is that we go and face! No one even cares! <laughs> That's lethal. Uh, we're 6 and 0. Um, it, it, it'll just, you can again leave in each YouTube video for the next month if you want. You can leave one, one link to the Discord. Uh, that'll be fine. Let me know if it doesn't appear. I'll look in my spam folder. Yo, dead. That was fun. <coughs> Wait, how much health does this have? Two. Yeah, it will. Yeah, anyway. Stupid berry deck. This is very good against berry decks. It happens to be the plant meta. Think what? It, what is the plant meta right now? It's ramp decks. This will be fine against ramp decks because you're able to deal with all the little sunflowers and stuff pretty easily. Ooh, a Briar Rose, I haven't seen a Briar Rose day today. Berry decks are so the meta, and this is the, this is like the bane to berry decks. One reason, we faced a couple berry decks already. Just doing amazing. Another berry deck, probably. <sighs> uh, I'll take Come on, why do we start with backup dancers every time? <coughs> Ooh, harsh. This is a pretty good play, though. This is an extremely good play. This is already a two for one. If he moves this over, we'll just fireworks next turn. Yeah, this is the this is the hard counter to berry decks because they splash. It's so bad. So again, this is it does one da it kills two it kills this guy does one damage here puts a four three on the board. That's a turn two play. It's actually way way better than the fire weed here. Uh, Wrath. This looks like an aggro deck, actually. 
Uh, I think that aggro spell using Galactic Cactus and little and plant and uh, forget me nuts is actually viable. Have some splash in our hands. Have some like it. I say. Not much than way of a thing here. This is sad to play because it's gonna clog some guard lines. <laughs> Let's see. You know what? This might still be a berry deck. <coughs> it's probably gonna be Sergeant Strongberry. This has got to be a berry deck. It's the meta. Wait! That's such a bad play! That is such a bad play, dude! Yay, we get two Gargs! This kills both of them! Supernova Garg! Are you kidding me, man? Why are... Oh, come on. Okay, so he'll get one shot maybe out of this. This throws another Garg immediately. It goes to lane one anyway. There's Frank Guitar, so he doesn't even get his, his precious little shot. This grows. This grows from that's interesting. This actually grows from our from the from the thrower that dies. It's another example of another thing in this game. Wow, so that's growing. <laughs> okay, the, the the turn the the play ended up being no, but this will destroy both of the high voltage currents. This works on any guard, so that will actually destroy these two. This one procs the block. Big freaking whoop. Uh, that, that, that's a trade I'm willing to make. I'll, I'll keep this lightning bolt, it'll be useful. So this will be a two for one, it'll destroy both of his guys. <laughs> Yo, Dan! <coughs> that was so good! Supernova Guard getting it done! Where does this go? This goes in lane four, I believe, so we can actually, um, front something with this next turn. That was so cool! <laughs> We can just go barrel barrel if we want. The splash damage is insane. He can't do anything here. Yay. Oop. So it still does six damage to face. So again, it's a one for one, and we do six damage to his face. Amazing. <coughs> and we have look at our card advantage. Amazing here. Ah. Uh, kill everyone. This is fine. It's nice having this lightning bolt because we can take out a pretty significant threat. If he plays something that has more than four health, I'm just gonna spam dancers here. They'll die anyway next turn, which is fine. You want them to you want them to block one thing and die. That's how dancers work. Dancers can be used as a control card. They fill half the lanes. Pretty bad still. Uh, well, we have time. We're not gonna have time for again. This is a control deck. Control decks we usually play eight because the games go really slow. So uh, we should have time for probably just one more game after this. Isn't this great though? This is amazing. Love this. Yay. Splashy, splashy. Um, plumber, I believe. You want the six damage to hit? Nice. So this does five. Then later it'll do another. It's five damage to face, sorry. I made a mistake. They don't want to splash this. We want to just remove whatever he plays in this lane. So we can, um, lightning bolt it. Doesn't matter for the rest of your days. Do we kill both of them? This draws cards anyway, so might as well. Which one does more damage this turn? It happens to be all, our hand is pretty useless. <coughs> this again will take one damage and actually kill this. Yo, dead! And does five, so we have another five on board. So this dies. If this hits it, we win. If it dies, it actually automatically dies. Uh, yeah, so Fireworks actually wins. I want to play the Garg throwing Garg, though. We don't have it. Ah, fine. Let's just do this. Ah! Time to make it splash! 
Time to make it splash for the win! Go! Fireworks! It's just like our victory, victory, uh, victory finish. Boom! Shabam! Shabam! And your dad! <laughs> That's called going off with a bang. We're leaving this joint with a bang. Making it bang. I'm gonna bang that guy. Bang him right in his tuchus. Go! <laughs> Pretty fun, BM. <coughs> it didn't give him a chance to heal. He could have popped him poppies and healed and actually saved him himself there. So the immediate fireworks is cool. Thank you so much, 7 Momola. Ah, that was so good. I love that poem. So sweet. It's too late. Goodbye. Goodbye. Perfect. Three early game control card. I really want one late game card in your starting hand. But anyway. <coughs> top tier deck? I think so. Against the current meta. Look, berry decks are top tier decks, and this kills berry decks, so. Uh, top tier deck? Yeah. I'm not sure we plumber this. I think the fireworks is actually going to bait it out next turn. I think he's going to be very confident that we don't have a way of dealing with this, and the fireworks will. He'll probably overextend this turn. That's my guess. <coughs> if he plays something with three health, maybe I'll I'll plumber it and then fireworks. It's I, I don't. This is not going to do enough damage on turn two to waste a card on it. We can just fireworks. Uh, that's worth lightning bolting. Uh, Grook. I'm, I'm sorry, I, um, I, I don't see all the things. You can send me your card again. I think it didn't go through in the chat. I think your link was, was messed up. <sighs> I'm still being greedy. The reason is because we have no way of, of controlling him on turn four. We could always plumber this now. I feel like we're going to plumber something else and then get them both with fireworks. We just have to, we have a, a lot of late game cards. So just kind of, kind of have to be very efficient in the way we, uh, the way we do it. Double gas giant, yeah, double double gas giant is something we have not seen yet today. They'll actually splash indefinitely until one of them dies. It's fireworks plumber now. It's not bad. We actually have a play because again we have a three three body on the board that he sort of has to deal with. Oh, I want to do this though. It really makes it good. And the fireworks will be good with all of our late game. Uh, it's changing plans. We're going to Plumber Hunting Grounds. I hope he plays an environment. That would be amazing here. Should you calf, gar, craft Guard Throwing Guard? I don't think so. Five damage. Where does the, the, the Guard Throwing Guard want to go, though? Here, I think? Oof. I'm gonna see if we can get this in lane one. Harsh. We're down to six. We're in really bad shape. And the fact these both missed really screws us here. It's a play. <coughs> Gas giant binary stars. Anyway. Uh, Bozowick is sending me something. Aggro pump. This is not aggro, this is tempo. You're not, you're not doing enough damage early on. This is a tempo deck. Uh, and you have repeat moss at the end. It's almost a you know, controlling. Could use some decent threes. This deck's okay. It seems like you have a very limited collection. Kind of like to see what else you have. It's all right. You could use one more environment. You, you know, for only two environments, the vegetation mutation is pretty useless. I would get rid of that. Winnie Beanie, block. Man, we screwed. <laughs> it attacks. It's nice.
be nice if we had a play here. Too. Hey Fry, you look fly today. Keep up the stream. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. I think let's go with this. He could bounce this, play and play two beans and win here. <laughs> bounce and two beans wins. Actually, no, because two beans won. The beans would have to go here. He gotta have one amphibious bean, a regular bean, and bounce. Nah, eh, probably doesn't have it. It says frenzy. Thank you so much, by the way, Ross, for subscribing. It's two months in a row. Like fly today, thanks. Right here. Uh, there's bounce. This one, I believe, right? Beanie Beanie doesn't do it. He needs an amphibious bean. And he wins. We are in really bad shape. This is probably the game we lose. He's, we're going to be down to one health. One more bounce just wins. We need to keep this in the reserve, I believe. Uh, Grow wins. Uh, bouncing this one wins. Lethal got him. Alright, we lost again. Uh, what was the problem there? The problem was... We took too much damage. Where did all the damage come from? Did the Admiral Navy Bean really do that much? Maybe we should have plumbered the Admiral Navy Bean on turn one and we would have won that game. Oh, you're right. He should have bounced lane one. He would have won. Good point. Anyway. This isn't that good in this matchup. This is fine. Nice lightning bolt. I love starting with these. It's been all Kabloomy. It's basically been all Kabloomy, right? Smarty. Been mostly Kabloomy. Very nice. I don't want to overextend because then it can play Planet and get us. We have a very, very nice answer to um, Planet Astro Shroom, which is the most powerful turn 3 play. He can't do it, because he has to play around us having an, an environment. He obviously knows it's Control Boo Boo by now. Oh, the win-loss counter died. Yeah, it does that sometimes. Thank you. I think this is fine. I wonder if we want this one to move. It'll make him scared. <laughs> It'll definitely do that. And in face one Chumzilla. Was Chumzilla a meta? I haven't played any solar heroes. I guess the solar flare was very dead there. What the heck is this? I think Hunting Ground's here. Play Planet of the Grapes! Dude, really? Call being slow. So this will actually throw two Gargs and survive. <coughs> it's called sucking. whoop de doo Three health! Th this is... Garg throwing, Garg throwing Imp is good with Hunting Grounds. There's no question. Look how effective it's been. You hunt the grounds on four, guard throwing, guard thro uh, guard throwing imp on five. It's amazing. It throws two gargs here, and survives. We'll probably get three gargs out of this. Oh, <laughs> oh. no! Harsh. Dang. <coughs> he draws two cards. How many bounces do you think this guy has? I don't think him drawing cards is that scary at this point. He could bounce again. He could just play, you know, uh, with Jelly Bean right now and 
Ruin us. Get the barrel! Get the barrel! Come on, man! <coughs> Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll be milled. It doesn't actually matter him drawing the card right now. Let's see if he plays another one. So annoying. I'm guessing he has no more bounce, because he, he went on the 50-50 there. This deck is good against bean decks. He's just got he got a really lucky bounce. He just had a few things, which are pretty clutch. We'll start next turn. This guy just got too much beans. So much beans! We have this. <coughs> more limas! So much limas! Play three more limas. Two more. Well, anyways, two more instead. Wrong order. Let's try not to draw them. Ugh. No more cards. Man, we're getting screwed again. The, our, the last nightcap almost got us. Interesting. This deck should be amazing against beans, but. I want to 10 now. It's hard to know what to do here. Wait, one, two. <coughs> Sad. Ugh. It's so annoying. How do you counter that? These nightcap decks are doing quite well. The last one almost beat us. This one's doing a great job. We're on to eight. He just has, you know, a puff shroom and a, and a, wow, it still works though, thankfully. Are you kidding me? That's lethal. Come on, man. Bounce is good. The, the answer to this deck seems to have always been bounce. He's going to win here. Come on. Come on. Seven and two. All right, we'll do one more. I said we'll go only to eight games, but. Dude! Alright, last one. It was bounce? He bounced us four times! You can't beat this deck, it's just too much tempo, because we're playing dry... Again, anytime you play dry zombies, you're in trouble, because if they have any kind of hard removal... You screwed! Uh, usually it's solar winds on too, and we have the obviously the hard answer. You should add gladiator. It's a hardy card, of course. Agro rose. What's this card doing here? We kill everyone. Roses are red. 
Violets are blue. You're the free streamer I sign. Love watching you play games. Thank you. Roses are red. I am tight. I am white. Oh, I messed it up already. Go! Ah, oh, we kill everyone. This actually works because it can get splashed. So. <coughs> Don't mess with goat. The goat in the hunting grounds. Become a three tag guy. I think this is fine. I don't mind this dying. Yet. Ah, it grows. <laughs> go, go. Rose is super. They have to change around Rose is super. It was the worst in the game before. It's even worse now. Kill everyone. That's fine. It's just one after the next. He already uses Godify, which is nice, because Godify could have taken out of this. Sadness. There's always gonna be some classes that are that are worse. It seems like the beastie what you're basically saying is the beastie class isn't that good. It's getting this deck though. We kill everyone. This should be fine. We'll, get, we'll take the Garg when we can take it. We're not going to save that for a Garg killing Garg. We kill everyone! <coughs> I can't really put anything in here now. Wingnut. Okay. okay. Pretty good answer for that. Frenzies don't work now. Go! Roses are red. These this will have frenzy too. So it actually breaks all the way through. It'll kill the wing nut first. There's freaking dragon. Ah, uh, this is still two guards. This does so much healing. It's back to twenty. Harsh. Get in my bunny. This will throw him in the water. <coughs> this does three. Harsh. Cob cannon. Cob cannon would be amazing. It's at eight already. I think this is right. The bunny actually throws fro. No! Uh, man! This deck has a couple hard counters. Bounce and great freaking zucchini. I believe we play this. Down in good shape. I think the hunting grounds goes here. <coughs> this is still... Nah. Now nah, we're done. We're done for. Ah. Yeah, it's lethal. No, wait. We can roll two and a three. Come on, man! This deck was performing so well until we got the main... Okay. We lost three games. The second and the third were to Bounce and to Great Zucchini and, and you know, Dragon. This deck still has the classic weakness. We just lost three in a row. We went 7-0 and then we went 0-3. This deck has the classic weakness 
of playing a guard. When you play a guy in the field and you let the plants have the last say, there's so many counters to you. Bouncing is one and then making another play. Making a big cycle with, you know, drawing cards with the Astro Shrooms and stuff like that. Uh, it allows them to play a card like Dragon, a card like Great Zucchini. That's why Gravestones and teleporting in zombies are usually ready to go. I... Man, this deck is very good against the berry meta. I still consider this to, in today's meta to be a top tier deck because against berries, which is the blind meta right now, this is absolutely amazing. Uh, we ruined all the berry decks, but we lost to what? Well, we lost to Bounce, we lost to Great Zucchini. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed. It was still a lot of fun. This will definitely go on YouTube. Peace! This is Fry.